Hello everyone, it's Hunter here, and today was the big day. So we had uh, my game of LCPL final tie breaks. So basically, um, my team, the Remorators, uh, faced this, the Skitty Kamichi, um, led by Lily AC, and uh, we tied 4-4 in the series. We went to playoffs, which is three games, and we were we were at a 1-1. So this is this is the this was the deciding deciding game so the one match to decide who will win the entire tournament so uh, there's a lot of pressure uh, a lot there's a lot of, at stake for only one best of one uh, so I played today against Lily AC and uh, I prepared a really um, really cool team in my opinion so it's um, basically uh, two water types so Staryu and Frillish and the team is built around um, built around status so we have Larvesta with Lean Body, uh, Frillish with Will-O-Wisp, um, Thunder Wave with Ponyard, and Thunder Wave with Staryu as well. And and it's all built around the Frillish with Hex. So um, with Paralysis, Frillish can outspeed the opposing Pokemon, such as Mianfu, and do a huge amount of damage to to them with Hex. So that was the that was the um, plan around bringing this team. And we also um, knew that Lily usually brought like more balanced teams, uh, relatively standard ones that, that she's comfortable with. So uh, that's why I decided to go for this. Uh, we didn't use a ground type because we were not anticipating a Magnemite. And um, so at preview, um, actually, she, uh, Lily AC brought something that we completely did not expect, and it was extremely bad for us. For well, for for my. Um, for my team, so it had a Scarf Magnemite. Well, I don't know if it's Scarf, but any Magnemite is very, really bad into no ground type. At least I have a Ferro Seed, but I have nothing to really absorb the Volt Switches um, to prevent the Volt Switch spam um, pivot, basically. And then we have Farfish Galar, which is also uh, really good into uh, Larvesta, um, since Larvesta is um, uh, Larvesta is usually a fight check, but Far Farfetch Galar has um, Brave Bird to um, so the Larvesta can't even check it anymore. So um, this looks like a really good matchup for Lily um, on preview. So I still have I still have uh, a few um, um, I still have chances though. Um, mainly for me, it would be either winning with um, Mianfu uh, if I can set up Stealth Rock and not allow Timber to remove it. Then Larvesta will be really will have a really hard time to um, to stop the Mianfu, and maybe Mianfu can win. Uh, alternatively, um, not to my, my not to is actually Calm Mind. So if it can set up enough Calm Minds to um, be able to live my Magnemite's attacks, then um, then it can uh, it can potentially just sweep the entire team because it out um, um, because it's uh, nothing really can really resist it um, its attacks. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, uh, looking at the lead here, I think I made a mistake for <laughs> the lead turn one. Um, so, I was basically there was basically two leads that I well two or three leads that I considered. So, I've considered uh, mainly either Larvesta, Magnemite, or Farfetch Galar. Um, Farfetch Galar would be a cool lead if it's Scarf. Um, it can just um, it can click whatever uh, um, whatever uh, move it wants to hit anything. So knock off uh, Brave Bird or Close Combat. Um, Larvesta is good against Mianfu, but Magnemite is good against um, is better against anything else but Mianfu and Pharaoh Seed. Um, so I decided to leave with Staryu, expecting the Larvesta, uh, which would lead to expect the Mianfu. But instead, Lily leads with the Magnemite, and now right off, right off turn one, I'm in a bad situation here. I did not know. If this Magnemite was Scarf or not, um, so uh, I made the safe play. Um, I went to the Pharaoh Seed. So if it's Scarf, you can just one-hit KO with T Thunderbolt, since I have no um, I have no Ground type. Um, if it's not Scarf, you can slow pivot with Bolt Switch um, and bring something else to deal with Staryu, like the Timber, for example, um, or the Porygon. Um, I didn't want to risk the Staryu getting removed turn 1, so I went for my Pharaoh Seed, 
and this damage, uh, it did five five HP of damage, which is actually a high roll, and that that showed me that this is analytic, so it was definitely scarf. Um, that, that was a damage boosted by analytic, so it can't be sturdy juice mag magnemite. Um, but now farfetch comes in, and I can't. This is really hard to switch into. Um, so my shot here was um, I expected this to be scarf, uh, scarf farfetched. Um, which might, in hindsight, might not have been the best assumption, considering she we already decided, uh, we already determined that uh, she had a scarf magnemite. But um, yeah, I thought it was scarf, and I thought it would not knock for in fear of me staying in and going for stealth rock, because stealth rock would really put a dent in Larvesta, and um, he would have to go to pivot to timber to um, to remove rocks, and that's not always easy, considering I have a Natu on my team, um, which can. Um, uh, force the timber out, um, basically. Um, so I went for I I went for the assumption that he she was gonna go. Uh, she, I went for a hard read, uh, assuming he was gonna straight for a close combat. Um, so I, in the close combat, I could switch either Natu or Frillish. I decided to go with Frillish because I figured Frillish was less important than Natu because Natu is really important because it's one of my two potential win cons. So I went for Frillish, uh, expecting the close combat, but in case she knocked. Which she does, which is really unfortunate. Um, I don't lose the Natu, and also reels to be Life Orb, which is um, which would which could explain why she went for the um, the knockoff instead of the close combat. And I didn't expect that at all. And now I can kind of forced to uh, sacrifice the Frillish because I have literally nothing to switch into this. So she goes to Brave Bird in case I go to Mianfu on the knockoff. But uh, yeah, um, now I go to Natu. Uh, I force. I'm faster than uh, Farfetched, but I kind of expected to be this to be um, a Porygon, a slow, a bulky Porygon that can trap, uh, that can, um, that can check not to. Um, I went, I went Psychic regardless because I'm Calm Mind. I don't actually have U-turn. Um, I actually thought about Calm Minding, but I figured just to, I, I just like, um, figure out the sets before. Um, before um, committing to the Calm Mind, I can always do it later. Um, so now I went to Mianfu as he goes for the Teleport into the Larvesta. And now my positioning is still horrible. Uh, <laughs> like, I, can't, I don't have anything to deal with Larvesta, because Larvesta, if I go to Staryu, Larvesta can U-turn. Um, and uh, just bring in the Magnemite again. So this, this double pivot is actually really, really annoying for me to deal with, with no ground type. Um, so now I think I made a bad decision. Um, I decided that I wanted to knock the not knock the Larvesta so the Natu has a has an easier time sweeping. I think that was a mistake. I think what I should have done is actually kept the Mianfu uh, and got, gone to Staryu or something or U turn into Staryu, uh, so I don't get don't risk the, uh, too many burns um, to preserve the Mianfu to to save Mianfu as a win con because Mianfu actually beats Farfetch'd, beats Porygon. Uh, Magnemite can't one hit KO it, so it's, uh, it's going to trade kills with that. Timber could admittedly beat it, um, and Diglett can trap it with Final Gambit. But um, I figure I feel like it would have been a better win con than not to, considering the Magnemite uh, the Magnemite is on her team basically. Um, so that would have been uh, probably another game, but honestly, the matchup is still really bad, and <laughs> my odds my odds of winning were really low. Um, but I decided to go for the knock, um, as she went for the Willow Wisp, which didn't matter. I didn't even realize it got burned on the flame body there. Um, now I expected a U-turn, which she did not do. Um, so I just kept expecting a U-turn here, and she went. For, um, um, I hoped that she would expect the star you can go for U-turn, but she goes. She she just went for Fl Flare Blitz, and now I can't just high jump kick anymore because otherwise. Um, her U-turn just brings in Diglett and traps the Mianfu. So I have to um, go to Staryu here. As she goes for a U-turn to bring in Magnemite again. And <laughs> this is basically the story of this game. Like I really can't do anything at all to to um, beat these two pivoters into the, the far-fetched. Um, so now I have to basically... Uh, expect. I, expect, I went to Larva expecting a close combat, hoping for a burn. Um, I thought about going not to there, I probably should have, but um, 
I hoped that it would have been enough to like, at least get a burn or something. Um, and I didn't want to risk the Natu again, but I was pretty confident she was going to go close, com close combat, so I could have gone to the Natu. Um, but it's okay. Um, basically now I just uh, went for Staryu. Um, interestingly, she went, interestingly, she went for the knockoff. I'm not sure what she was expecting. Maybe she was expecting me to go to Natu um, on the Brave Bird. Um, but yeah, I just I saved, uh, saved my Natu. Um, I also need I also need um, one of these for Timber as well. Um, and probably Natu is the best answer to that. So I have to keep it really healthy. Um, and now it's, she reveals quick attack, which is really bad for me. Like there's, so now um, my Natu doesn't guarantee outspeed the far fetched, and um, I go Natu to force it out, and uh, she goes for Porygon, and I take advantage of this to set up Calm Mind. Um, this was basically my only win win con at this point because Mianfu is burnt. Unfortunately, Magnemite just does too much damage. I can't roost it off. I don't have enough boost, so I can. The best I can do is uh, not. I don't have enough roost. The roost doesn't recover enough health. Uh, the best I can do was just to trade with the Magnemite. I roosted first because she might have uh, wanted to go for um, Volt Switch first and then stack something to Heat Wave and then come back in with Heat Bolt. So I was trying to play around that, but it doesn't really matter because Diglett can still outspeed the Natu. Um, so forcing it out and then like. Not too really low, and there's no way uh, you can set up ever again. So, uh, so that's what she does. She goes for the Diglett um, using Beat Up. Uh, interesting move. And also revealing that it's not Life Orb. It's not Balloon either, so it's probably a Violite. And now it's basically over. Um, Diglett sets up rocks so that my Larvesta is basically dead. My Natu is actually dead because it can't switch in anymore. And that's basically the game. Um, yeah, I tried to go for some like some Yanfu high jump kick crates in the end, but it doesn't matter. Like this game is like over from this point. It was basically it was really hard for me uh, all from from the beginning, but yeah, now it's definitely over. I just let this roll out. Um, not Larvesta's removed. I tried to get some shenanigans with Yanfu. Uh, to lo lower the timber's health, unfortunately, it doesn't isn't gonna go uh, to plan. I'm just gonna speed up the drain punch. Basically, he goes to Pharaoh Seed, and what all he needs, all she needs to do, is to just mock punch plus quick attack the the, the Mianfu, and it's over. Even if I, even if I crit the high jump kick. So yeah, that was uh, that concludes the LCPL tournament. Um, Big congratulations to um, the Skitty Committee who actually um, did uh, made two comeback in finals. So they were they were trailing 4-1 in finals, brought it back to 4-4, then lost the first game of um, the tie breaks uh, in their pick of tiers, uh, of black white uh, LC, and brought it back with two uh, con consecutive games in tie breaks, uh, including this one from the team manager to give them the win. Um, so. Um, Congratulations to them. Um, <laughs> I kind of, uh, I really kind of wanted to win the, this LPL, uh, this LCPL. Um, I think our team was really, really good. We had, we had really good synergy uh, with all the, uh, with uh, the managers, Papillon, Coconut, of course, and uh, and the French players and the Chinese players. But um, I don't, I don't regret it. It was really fun. Um, can't win them all. <laughs> And um, I think in terms of uh, personal mm, personal performance, uh, I wish I could have played more SM, which is unfortunate. But I think I did relatively well in SS. Um, I had some unfortunate losses, but I think uh, I kind of showed a lot of a lot of creative uh, creative sets. It was a good opportunity for that to show them and show them the even. Um, there's more viable Pokemon in Little Cup than one might think. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks everyone for uh, for watching. Thank you for following this um, tournament replay analysis, if you have from the beginning. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tournament, which is probably going to be LPL. So, uh, until next time.